Undoubtedly, African leaders are frequently regarded as the most valuable citizens of their respective nations. This is understandable given that the leadership position confers great status and elevates the holder well above the average citizen. In addition, it also carries a great deal of responsibility, power, and financial rewards. Politics is developing into a very lucrative job where strong leadership skills are in high demand, much like in other regions of the world. Presidents in Africa are not just strong figures, but also extremely wealthy. On a continent where the vast majority of people are living in extreme poverty, these political elites amass money. In reality, many of these leaders are regarded as extremely affluent people who collect big paychecks just out of convenience. This is why during election seasons, a lot of politicians strive fiercely to be chosen as the leaders of their various nations. Simply put, they are drawn to the luxurious lifestyle that these people lead since they earn a lot of money via their salary, bonuses, and frequently, exorbitant allowances, even though many nations are undeveloped. This draws up serious reasons for concern, particularly as the yearly salaries of most leaders are significantly higher than the country's GDP per capita or average earnings. For Africa, for the world, and for Botswana. This is why many young individuals want to know how much African leaders make so they may compare their pay packages to the average incomes and GDPs of other nations. Our video attempts to provide information on the salaries of all African presidents using information gathered from country websites and pertinent data from organizations. However, the yearly salaries of the presidents of Madagascar, Togo, and Niger are kept secret for a variety of reasons, making precise estimates challenging. So without wasting much time, Let's jump right into our video which details the salaries of all African presidents. Be sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. After Seychelles, Sao Toma and Princip have the second lowest population density in Africa. One of the main issues facing the nation is still eradicating extreme poverty, malnutrition, and socioeconomic development barriers. With a GDP of just over $540 million, the nation is heavily dependent on aid and cocoa exports, although it wants to concentrate on utilizing offshore oil. Carlos Villanova, who took office as Sao Tom's fifth president in October 2021, earns $2,930 a year in salary, making him the lowest paid president in Africa. Next we have the country of Eritrea, which has a population of about 3 million. Eritrea is a relatively small nation, and its president, Azayas Afwerki, became president after the country's independence in 1993 and has been the country's only president so far. He is one of the lowest earning presidents in Africa, with an annual salary of $6,000. With a GDP of $1.6 billion, Guinea-Bissau is currently among the world's poorest and most fragile nations. The economy of Guinea-Bissau is significantly dependent on foreign help, and the government of President Umaro Sissoko Mbalo has not been able to pay the country's enormous international debt. He receives a salary of $6,336 a year, making him one of Africa's least wealthy presidents. Namibia, with about 2.5 million inhabitants, has experienced stability ever since it separated from South Africa. Hage Gangab, the president of Namibia, has an estimated net worth of $11 million and receives an annual salary of $9,941. It is the driest nation in sub-Saharan Africa and is abundant in minerals of uranium and diamonds. Political stability and prudent economic management have supported the decrease of poverty and helped Namibia reach upper-middle income status.
The country of Djibouti, which is in eastern Africa, has a population of roughly 1 million people and a GDP of $3.3 billion. Its president, Ismail Omar Gell, has one of the lowest salaries of a president in all of Africa at $10,000 per year. He has been in power since 1999, making him one of Africa's longest-serving leaders. Sierra Leone is wealthy in resources like diamonds and other minerals, which has allowed it to keep its yearly GDP growth at 3.1%, reaching $4.2 billion. Former soldier Julius Mata served as president of Sierra Leone and collaborated in a military coup that overthrew the country's previous military government and paved the way for free elections. His estimated net worth ranges between $1 million to $10 million. The yearly salary of Julius Matabayo is $12,220. We had only one objective, to overthrow a corrupt, repressive, and single party. About 17 million people are living in Senegal, with a quarter of them residing in the Dakar region. Since gaining independence in 1960, Senegal has seen three peaceful political changes making it one of the most stable nations in all of Africa. In February 2019, President Macky Sall, who has been in office since 2012, was elected to a second five-year term. Senegal's GDP has been increasing gradually, and it is currently $27.6 billion. Macky Sall, the president of the nation, receives a salary of $15,210 every year. One of the poorest nations in the world is Chad. Since gaining independence in August 1960, it has struggled with political unrest, and with French forces' assistance, it is currently battling terrorism linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIS. However, the nation has large reserves of gold, uranium, and oil. Mohamed Deby, the leader of Chad, took over as president from his late father, Idris Deby, who held office for more than 30 years. The GDP of Chad is $11 billion, and President Mahama has been in power since April 2021. His yearly income is $16,640. This North African nation, which has a population of about 11 million, happens to be wealthier than its neighbors, the bulk of Tunisia's workforce is employed in the agricultural sector, and the country's GDP, which is currently $46.8 billion, is significantly influenced by tourism. Tunisia's president since October 2019 is Kass Said. He currently makes $16,700 a year. Angola's president is Joao Lourenco. With a population of roughly 33 million and a $72 billion GDP, the country is located in the heart of Africa. The president of Angola, Joao Lourenco, also takes home a low yearly salary of $17,824. Ten islands and five islets make up Cape Verde. It has a population of just over 500,000 and a GDP of $1.9 billion. There are more people from Cape Verde residing abroad than on the actual islands. The president of this tiny nation, Jose Maria Pereira Neves, earns $20,380 a year. Although Guinea has some of the finest mineral resources in Africa, its citizens are among the poorest in all of West Africa. In a coup in September 2021, Lieutenant Colonel Mamadi Doumboya took power and replaced President Alpha Conde. He earns an annual salary of $22,390.
The population of Seychelles is only 99,000 people. The per capita income in this country is high, and education and healthcare are also of high quality. The fishing sector and upscale tourism are major contributors to the economy. Seychelles has a GDP of $13.3 billion, which is respectable despite its small population. Wavel Ramkalawan, the fifth president of the nation, is paid a handsome salary of $23,700 per year. Before the separation of South Sudan in 2011, Sudan was once the largest country in Africa by area and one of the most geographically diversified republics on the continent. The military head of state is General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. However, the civilian prime minister, Abdallah Hamdok, earns a salary of $29,320 per year. Cotonou is the country's largest city and administrative capital of the Republic of Benin, whereas Porto Novo is the capital of the nation. President Patrice Talon has held office for six years in a row and is paid a salary of $29,810 yearly. This country in Western Africa is among the world's poorest. Agriculture is the most significant economic sector. The development of the gold mining sector has recently boosted Burkina Faso's economy. After leading a coup to depose democratically elected Rockmar Christian Cabaret, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Sandavo Damiba took office as president of Burkina Faso. His yearly salary is $33,810. The Central African Republic has a population of about 5.4 million people. Despite having a wealth of natural resources, it is one of the world's poorest and most unstable nations. Faustin Archange Tuadera, the president, receives a salary of $42,524 a year. It's interesting to note that this country is the first in Africa to recognize Bitcoin as legal money. One of the world's oldest countries, Ethiopia is a nation that dates back to around 980 BC. It has roughly 140 million people living there, with a GDP of $111 billion. It is one of the wealthiest nations in Africa. Salah Work Saude, the president of the nation, receives a salary of $45,227 per year. The country has a population of over 32 million people and is one of Africa's poorest. Mozambique has an abundance of arable land, water, energy, mineral resources, and recently discovered natural gas. Unfortunately, it is still dealing with a military insurgency in parts of the gas-rich Cabo Delgado province. Mozambique, with a GDP of $16.1 billion, is one of the world's least developed countries. Philippe and Yusi, the country's leader earns $46,800 per year. Burundi is an East African country with a low-income economy and an agricultural sector that employs 80% of the population. Officially, the country has two capital cities. In 2019, Parliament decided that Gatigo would be the country's political capital, while Bujumbura would remain its economic capital. Burundi's president, Everest De Shimai, is paid $47,300 annually. Tanzania, the country with the highest peak in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, has a population of 61 million people and a GDP of $67.7 billion annually. The United Republic of Tanzania's first female president is Samia Suluhu Hassan. After John Magufuli's passing in 2021, she took over as leader. 
Samia Salu, the president, is currently paid $47,300 annually. <laughs> The largest nation in sub-Saharan Africa is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Despite having abundant natural resources like cobalt and copper, as well as vast arable land and hydroelectric potential, the majority of DRC's population has not yet reaped the rewards of this abundance. The country's longtime opposition leader, ADN Shisekidi's son, Felix Antoine Shisekidi Shalambo, won the December 2018 presidential election. In the first peaceful transfer of power in the DRC's history, he succeeded Joseph Kabila, who had ruled the nation for 18 years. His annual pay is $51,500. Lesotho, also referred to as the Kingdom in the Sky, is a tiny nation home to around 2 million people. The majority of the population of the nation frequently migrates to South Africa in search of employment. Other than water, Lesotho's meager natural resources are insufficient even for the country's current population. The country operates a parliamentary or constitutional monarchy. The head of state and the executive branch of government is Moketsi Majoro. The king of Lesotho, Letsi III, is the head of state and performs a primarily ceremonial function. He is not permitted to take an active part in politics and no longer has any executive authority. Wakitsi Majoro has an annual income of $52,778. Algeria is a country in northern Africa with a Saharan desert in its interior and a Mediterranean coast. Abdel Majid Taban has served as its leader since 2017. He is among the wealthiest persons in Algeria thanks to his $57,259 annual income. With a GDP of $12 billion, South Sudan has a population of nearly 11 million people. Salva Kir Mahardit, the president of the nation, succeeded a rebel commander who perished in a helicopter accident. Salva Kir Mayardit, the president, presently receives an annual salary of $60,000. Zambia has avoided the war that has ravaged most of Africa. This country has an appealing GDP of $21.2 billion and a population of 18 million. Two-thirds of Zambians continue to live in poverty despite the country's rapid economic growth and significant Chinese investments. Hakende Hekilima, the president of Zambia, is currently paid $63,150 a year as a salary. Gabon is a nation found on the west coast of Africa and is also in the middle of Africa. Gabon's capital, Libreville, is also the country's largest city. Gabonese President Ali Bongo Ondimba earns $65,000 per year. The Gambia is a West African country with a population of over 2 million people. Its capital city, Banjo, is the country's most densely populated metropolitan area. The GDP of the country is $1.9 billion. Adama Barrow, the president of Gambia, earns $65,000 the same salary as his Gabonese counterpart. The West African country of Mali has a population of roughly 20 million. Mali was the birthplace of Mansa Musa. He is considered as one of the wealthiest people in history and is estimated to have had a current day net worth of $400 billion. The president of Mali at the moment is Asim Gauta, a military commander who assumed power two days after the nation's second coup. Even though this country is underdeveloped, the military head nevertheless receives a salary of $68,900 a year.
With a population of more than 200 million, this West African nation is vital to the continent's economy. Nigeria is one of the richest nations in Africa, with a GDP of slightly over $510 billion. According to OPEC, the nation exports the most crude oil in Africa, with a daily average of almost 1.6 million barrels. Due to his significant assets in Nigeria and abroad, President Muhammadu Buhari is thought to have an $80 million net worth. He earns $69,000 a year in pay. Because of its contribution to the advancement of knowledge around the world, Egypt is one of Africa's most powerful countries. It has a $404 billion GDP. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, the nation's president, is paid a yearly salary of $70,400. Malawi is a landlocked nation in southern Africa and has a GDP estimate of $11.9 billion. With a population of roughly 19 million, the nation has experienced tremendous economic growth in recent years. Lazarus Chakwera, the president of the nation and a theologian and preacher of Christianity, receives a salary of $74,300 every year. Due to its location on the Greenwich Meridian and proximity to the equator, Ghana is practically in the middle of the globe. The nation's commercial center is Accra, which serves as the capital of Ghana and is its most populous city. The annual salary of the nation's president, Nana Akufo Addo, is $76,000. With just over 13 million people, Rwanda is a small nation in East Central Africa. The country's president, Paul Kagame, implemented economic changes that have resulted in a current gross domestic product of $11 billion. He earns between $85,000 a year and has accumulated a sizable wealth while leading his nation to prosperity. Did you know that the desert covers more than 70% of all land in Botswana? Additionally, Africa's oldest surviving democracy is Botswana, which has held democratic elections continuously since its independence. The fifth and current president of Botswana, Makwitsi Eric Kibetsui Masisi, has been in office since 2018. He receives an annual salary of $85,223. The oldest republic in Africa and the only country in Africa that was never colonially ruled is Liberia. It is the first country in Africa where a female president has held office. George Weah is the current president of Liberia. Interestingly, he is a former football player and earns $90,000 annually. Mauritius is an African island nation in the Indian Ocean that is stable and prosperous. With a GDP of $11.1 .1 billion, it now has one of Africa's highest per capita incomes. It's easy to see why the country's president, Prefarai Singh Rupan, earns $93,783 per year. For several decades after independence, Ivory Coast enjoyed economic and political stability. The president was then deposed in a military coup in 1999, and the country descended into civil war in 2002 as a result of an armed rebellion. Despite the involvement of UN and French troops, the country has been plagued by insecurity and violence ever since. The GDP of the country is $64 billion. Alassane Dramain Ouattara is an Ivorian politician who has served as the country's president since 2010. He is paid a salary of $100,000 per year. Libya has a population of roughly 6.4 million 
and a GDP of $25.42 billion. This nation is a primarily arid and oil-rich nation. Longtime leader Muammar al-Qaddafi was overthrown in 2011, which resulted in an unstable power structure. However, the current head of state is Mohamed al-Menfi, who was chosen for a forum for political dialogue in Libya. Currently, he receives a $105,000 annual salary. The nation of Comoros is made up of a collection of islands. Its population is estimated to be 900,000, and its GDP is $1.03 billion. The largest town in Comoros is Moroni, the country's capital. Since April 2019, Azali Asumani has led Comoros as president. After pulling off a coup in 1999, he was elected president in 2002, 2016, and April 2019. His annual salary is $117,000. Sixteen million people are living in Somalia, and its GDP is $7.2 billion. Since Hassan Sheikh Mohammed was elected president, its GDP has been increasing. His yearly income is $120,000. Throughout its history, Zimbabwe has fought for its freedom, independence, and land. Formerly known for being Southeast Africa's breadbasket, Zimbabwe has struggled to feed its citizens since the year 2000 because of recurrent droughts. Zimbabwe continues to be poor and cash-strapped, with a GDP of $26.2 billion, despite the overthrow of Robert Mugabe and his four decades of rule. Currently, President Emerson Mangadwa receives an annual salary of $146,590. In the center of Africa is the nation of Equatorial Guinea. It has a population of over a million people and GDP of $10.02 billion. Teodoro Obiang Wima Masogo, its president, is paid $152,680 a year. He is the longest serving non-monarchical head of state in the world. With a population of 45 million, Uganda is one of the most populated nations in Africa. Despite a decline in its poverty rate, Uganda continues to rank among the world's poorest countries. Since 1986, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has been in power in Uganda after toppling his military predecessor. His $183,216 yearly wage has allowed him to accumulate a sizable amount of fortune over the years. He is recognized for raising Uganda's GDP to $40 billion and bringing about a relative return of peace, stability, and economic prosperity. The Republic of Congo, also known as Congo Brazzaville, is found in Central Africa. Its 5.7 million population is mostly the young, with 47% under 18. The oil sector accounts for more than half of GDP and more than 80% of exports, making it one of Africa's top 10 producers. The country also has an abundance of mineral resources that are mostly untapped. President Dennis Stasso Ngeso has won every election since 2002, including the March 2021 election. He receives a yearly salary of $187,400. In a ceremonious event on September 13, William Samoe Ruto was sworn in as Kenya's new president in front of Kenyans from all walks of life and heads of state from all across Africa. The celebrations following the election success demonstrate the joy and relief 
felt following a contentious vote in which the newly sworn-in president was pronounced the winner with 50.4% of the vote against Rayla Odinga's 48.8%. Ruto William Samoe has been duly elected as the president. Prior to winning the election, Ruto served as the 11th deputy president of Kenya under his predecessor, Ukuru Kenyatta, from 2013 to 2022. The president with humble beginnings who started as a chicken seller pitched himself as a hustler who would best represent Kenya's underprivileged. The 55-year-old Ruto is a graduate of the University of Nairobi with a Bachelor of Science in Botany and Zoology. He also has a master's degree and a doctorate in the same discipline. According to sources, he will earn $192,200 a year in pay, making him arguably the wealthiest head of state in East Africa, just like his predecessor, Uhuru Kenyatta. South Africa is home to one of Africa's largest and most advanced economies. With a staggering population of over 60 million, the nation represents slightly more than 5% of all people in Africa. It boasts a $420 billion GDP, and Cyril Ramaphosa, the president, makes $223,500 a year. Mauritania is mostly desert, which has led to ongoing droughts throughout the whole nation. In 2019, one of the greatest natural gas discoveries in the world, potentially 50 trillion cubic feet of gas, or 8.9 billion barrels of oil, was also made in the offshore waters off the coast of Mauritius. Mohamed Old Ghazawani, the country's president, seized control in a coup in 2008 and took office the following year. He makes $300,000 a year. Morocco is a mountainous nation in western North Africa that borders Spain on the other side of the Strait of Gibraltar. The nation retains a significant amount of its historic buildings and much more of its traditional practices despite its fast modernization and rising level of living. It is currently the sole monarchy in North Africa. Morocco is a constitutional monarchy with two legislative houses. Maham VI, the ruler of Morocco, began his reign following the death of his father. Mohammed makes $488,604 a year. With a salary of $620,976 per year, Paul Bia ranks as the second richest president in Africa. He is also the oldest head of state in Africa and in the world after the death of Queen Elizabeth the second longest serving president in the continent and the longest serving non-royal leader in history. Eswatini, unlike other nations with presidents, does not have a president. Instead, a king is in charge of the nation. The current monarch is Muswadi III, however, the prime minister is currently Cleopas Dlamini. In this tiny country, the king receives a yearly income of up to $56,051,336, making King Oswadi III the richest head of state in Africa. With such high pay, African presidents should be accountable for how they manage their country's resources. With so many people living in poverty, wouldn't it be more prudent to use the money for basic social amenities? Do some of these presidents deserve such large sums of money? And given your country's economic situation, do you believe your president should be paid less or more? Let us know what you think in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen which looks at the 10 African countries with the highest defense budgets. As always, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting trending and development topics in Africa. Women and girls who constitute 51% of our population, we are not given equal opportunity.